hey guys and welcome to this video where i'm going to do this nail set right here i love how they turned out this is how they looked beforehand they really needed to be done quite badly this is a natural nail overlay so it's a builder in a bottle overlay i didn't record the filing off process or the prep so i'm just going to show you my nails after i have all that done and then going to go in with this base coat right here from glitter bells so i'm just going to scrub the base coat into the nail getting it as close to the cuticle as possible and down as close into the side walls as possible without touching the skin just because your base gel is really important wherever you put the base coat the rest of the gel and the rest of the layers will follow so you don't want to over flood the cuticles or the side walls but you do want to cover all the ground that you need to cover on your nail so i'm just going to do one layer of this and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds Okay, so I'm going in now with this shade Soya. This is the Builder Bell Gel from Glitter Bells. It's their new Hema Free range. And this is my newest Builder Gel in that range. It is kind of a really neutral color. It is absolutely stunning. And when I saw it on Instagram, I had to order it straight away. So I'm just going to go in here with a slip layer. So the slip layer is just a thin painted on layer that I'm not going to cure. And then I'm going to go in here with a bigger bead. So I'm going to float this bead just from side to side down the nail, just like that. And it just kind of flows into the slip layer because the slip layer isn't cured. It's still wet. And then I'm using my liner brush or striper brush just to kind of drag the gel into place up and down the side walls and as close to the cuticle again as I can. I absolutely love using my striper brush. I always use it in every single nail set just to get that gel as perfect as I can because I don't want to refine the gel if possible. So for this set, I didn't have to refine the gel at all. I didn't have to finish file anything. So this is my top tip on how to do it is just to use your striper brush to help guide the gel where it needs to go. If you can see here, I'm just using my thumb to gently pull back the skin just so that the brush can get it in near the sidewalls. And it just kind of, I'm just using my thumb as a little bit of an anchor there. So just so I can get in nice and close. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I'm just going to come back to you in the next part of the video. So for the rest of the nails, I'm going to go in with the shade Cookie Cream. This is from the old black bottles that Glitter Bells used to have. And the only reason why I'm changing to Cookie Cream for these three nails is because I don't need them to be a specific color. And I want to use up what's left in my old black gels because I am going to stick to the Hema Free range going forward with my clients. So anything that's left in those black bottles, I'll probably just use on myself unless a client specifically asks for it. So this is me just doing the same effect on my pinky and I'm going to come back to you in a second for the design. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade Enigma from Glitter Bells. It's from their Hema Free range also, and I'm going to paint my thumb, my index and my pinky with this. 
as a full cover nail and then I'm going to do some swirls with this color as well. So I'm going to paint two coats of this. It goes on perfectly in two coat coverage and it is a really nice unusual color for autumn. So like when you want to kind of transition from summer to autumn shades, this is, I feel like it's somewhere between a gray and a blue, probably more gray, but I just, it's just unusual, but it's very, very nice to just transition into the autumn colors. And it's also different than the usual burnt oranges and browns and stuff like that. So I just thought this was a really cute color to head on into autumn with. Next up, gonna go in with the Glitter Bells Unbelievable Gel in the shade white and getting my striper brush and just gonna follow along that first swirl, follow it all the, all the way along. This white is just perfectly pigmented for nail art. So it's just one coat and I use it for all my French tips and everything that I need with nail art now with white. I used to use white gel polish, but now I just always go to this if I am doing any sort of nail art or detailed work. So I'm just going to follow the swirl all the way around here. I'm going to do the same on the second nail. And yeah, I'm just looking at my little scratches on my thumb there. I do have an aggressive cat who likes to scratch every now and again. So that's what those are. Okay, so for this part, I'm going in with the Gel Bottle Links Rose Gold and I'm just creating a swirl effect on the opposite side there and pulling it across that swirl design and just curling it down towards the end. And you want your swirl to be a little bit thicker at the top and then pull it out towards the end. It's okay if there is less product on your brush at this point because you just want the end to be a little bit thinner. And yeah, the Gel Bottle Links Rose Gold is my absolute favorite rose gold. I've tried a few and this one is my favorite. It is so, so effective and it stands out. It is just perfect for nail art as well. So yeah, this is me just looking at my little nails before I pop them in and going to go in now with the No Wipe Top Coat from Glitter Bell. So this is quite a thick top coat, but the shine and everything is stunning at the end so I'm going to paint every single nail now and cure it for 60 seconds when I'm done painting but this is where my battery cut off I think just as I was doing the top coat but they turned out so so well I'm so happy with them I just love the autumn colors and I think this color is such a good such a good unique color going into autumn and yeah if you made it this far please subscribe and I'll see you in more videos like this one